Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing four different trash to treasure thrift store find DIYs. I am decorating for winter this year so these are all going to be based around winter time. I was so excited to finally get back in the swing of things of doing some DIYs. It has been a minute since Christmas but here we go. This first one is this mirror slash shelf slash window. This was $3.09 from Goodwill. And I thought it was wood and I have no idea why. It actually ended up being a really thick plastic. So this wood, you couldn't barely, like, you couldn't sand anything. You just had to paint over the top because it was just a thick plastic. So the first thing I did was just unscrew all the screws on the back side. There was a ton of little areas to hang this. I have no idea why, but there was four of them, some even on the bottom. So when I ripped off of this, there was so many spider webs and spider nest and I had to get the vacuum out. Yes, this is real life disgusting. The mirror was gross, which we also had to clean that as well. But look at this. This was, I didn't know how old it was or if there were spiders in there. So I just took my vacuum and kind of sucked it up. And even the vacuum did not clean this. I had to go back in with a some cleaner and clean this entire thing just as best as I could because it was really bad. This was one of probably the nastiest things I've ever got from anywhere besides I have had to hose a couple things down. But normally I just take a dust rag, dust everything off, call it a day or some multi-purpose cleaner. Um, so I'm just going to go in with my Waverly White chalk paint and I did do two coats of this and then I did end up taking a sander and just kind of distressing it just a little bit just to get some of the paint off and show the brown through it because I do like the distressed like farmhouse look. So that is what I did. This is It's a pretty simple, easy little task to make something not so pretty turn into something really, really cute. So when I first bought this, I didn't think I was going to end up adding the mirror. The mirror did have some spots that would not come off no matter how much we cleaned it. I think it was just kind of somewhere on the mirror. But I ended up putting everything back together after it was all painted and distressed just a little bit along the edges. And I just grabbed a wreath I got from Joann's. If you guys haven't checked out my 70 to 75% off Joann fabric haul, you really should check that out. They had some really great deals for Christmas. I also thought these would be really great for winter and I just took some twine and added this wreath. This wreath was under $5 and so this whole thing was under $10 to make which is a super killer deal because I know that this would cost a lot more money if you just buy it at the store. This next project it is just this big white vase. It's almost like an off-white, but this was really dirty as well. This was $4.09 from Goodwill, and I don't normally show some behind the scenes, but if you guys really want to just dive right in, I thought that I would just kind of show you guys what I do to clean everything and... This is, yeah, this is definitely real life. It's not always just I can throw something together really fast. You kind of have to scrub and clean. But once it was clean, it was really nice. I got all like the dings and scratch marks off. I picked up these floral arrangements. These are, what are these called? Silver magnolia leaves. They were $3.47 each from Walmart. I grabbed them because I thought they were 50% off and they weren't. But I decided to keep them anyways because I loved the way they looked and I knew I wanted to put them in this white vase. And that's all I did was add two of these and this was about 10 bucks, which I think that is a super cute. I just, I don't know. I love this. I think 10 bucks was worth it.
next DIY, I'm using this sign. It has a key in the middle. I'm taking the key off of this and then I'm going to sand the whole entire frame. My mom actually wanted the key, so I did take that off and give that to her. So if you guys are wondering what I'm going to do with the key, I'm not doing a thing with it. So I had to kind of just push the middle off because it was stapled down or nailed down from the inside. So this was kind of tricky and I was like, oh man, but eventually it came off the more I pushed and kind of I put my foot through it. I didn't show all of that, but that's how I got the frame off of this one. And now I'm just taking my sander and I sanded this right down to nothing because I wanted to restain the frame because I wanted it a lot darker. I picked up some stain a while ago from Walmart. It is this Rust-Oleum wood stain in Kona and I love the color of this. This was after my camera was outside so it's a little blurry because it was like freezing outside, warm inside, condensation, it happens. But I eventually got that fixed. But you can see the frame. I sanded everything down and then I'm just taking a uh, rag and just staining the whole frame. And I love the way this looks. I love this dark color. And yeah, I've never actually, I haven't used stain in a really long time. So I don't know if I'm doing it right or not. I'm, I know I am. There's not really a right or wrong thing, but I do have to tell you that I did hit the frame on the stain and the stain went everywhere. You can see right here, I had to like stop and redo this. Every single time I use stain, I make a giant mess, no matter what. That's why I normally do not use it because I just have a giant mess to clean up afterwards. But anyways, yeah, that's all I'm doing is just staining in the nice little frame. And now I'm just taking some of this. It's quick wood or K wick wood. I, it doesn't really matter what it's called. Anyways, it is really nice to fill wood with if you are missing chunks of wood or you want to fill in holes. That is just all I'm doing. This is all we really had on hand. So the key left two big screw marks in the center of this and I wanted to paint over this, but I couldn't until I filled the holes in. And I'm just going in with my Waverly White chalk paint and I'm just painting the entire thing. I just did one coat because I didn't think, I kind of liked the distressed look of the out the frame the frame oh my gosh the inside of the frame the <laughs> picture of it um so i just did one coat of this white chalk paint And now I just grab this little graphite paper or it's a little tra transfer paper, tracing paper, um, along with these snowflakes. I printed these off off Pinterest. I will leave the links if you guys want to check out the snowflake printables. I just sized them down to 44 and I think 30 for the other one because I wanted a large one and a small one. And then I am just transferring it with a pen and that paper. I love it. It's from Arteza, uh, but I know you can purchase it anywhere you want, but I think this is a nice little... I don't know, this is, it just works way better than scratching your pencil along the back side. I will never scratch a pencil along the back side and trace over it. I will just always use this paper. This was my inspiration, this little let's get cozy sign. This was from Etsy, but I found it on Pinterest, and that is where I got this idea from. And then I am just freehanding the cozy, which normally I do not freehand, so that's why I wanted to show you guys what I was doing ahead of time. So you're like, why are you holding your phone? because I'm freehanding the co the word cozy, which I don't think I did bad. I think I actually did a good job for freehanding. If you guys seen my actual handwriting, you'd be blown away how terrible it is. I also just grabbed these stickers from Dollar Tree. I've had these forever. I know you can buy them. It's like right with the poster board and I'm just writing let's get out in these stickers. Now I'm just using the Arteza paint in silver. It's an indoor outdoor paint and I'm just painting the snowflakes.
And then once the snowflakes were dry, they were kind of dry. They weren't 100% dry. I'm, I won't lie there. Um, I'm just taking some black acrylic paint. I think this is from Arteza as well. You can obviously pick up black acrylic paint at Walmart for 50 cents with Apple Barrel, but I'm using what I have on hand. I really just need to use up my paint before it starts just getting chunky and hard and thick and I have some paint that's actually doing that so I'm just trying to use up what I have but I am just yeah freehanding around and I'm just using like the edge or the side of the paintbrush to make it thick and I love love the way this turned out I was really happy that I've never actually made a sign or anything like this before just using free-handed writing but I think it turned out really cute I'm super happy with the way it looks and it's huge it's like a 20 by 30 frame and yeah so that's it let's get cozy And for the last thing, I'm just using this little old toolbox. I like to call them toolboxes. They might be called something else, but that's what I call them. And these pine cones from Joanne Fabric. These were $2.99. Like I said, I'll leave the haul in the description box below if you guys want to check that out. But I'm just going to be adding all the pine cones to this toolbox. And then I'm just going to be adding some other little things I picked up at Joanne's. They had, like I said, a killer deal of like 70 to 75% off. So everything was just dirt cheap. Some of it was even cheaper than going to Dollar Tree. I know Dollar Tree sometimes carry these pine cones and you got like three for a dollar. Well, you got a lot more. You got like 12 or 13 for three dollars, which is awesome. So I'm using the whole entire bag on this because I wanted my house to smell amazing. These smell stink. They stink up your whole house. That's what I like to say. I know that's not probably the term that people say, but that's what I say. They stink up your whole house, but in a good way. These little floral pieces, little berries, these were only 89 cents at Joann's and then I'm just kind of sticking them all around. And then to make this a little more wintry, I'm just taking these little wooden snowflakes. I only end up using two of them. These are also from Joann's. These were, I think, under 25 cents a piece. I cannot remember exactly, but they were super cheap, and I'm just throwing them in here as well. And that's it for this. I think this turns out super cute. I love how neutral it is. It's really brown and the light colors, which I absolutely love because you can just throw in some extra color all around it, and it looks perfect. But you guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any more of my DIY videos. I will be coming up with some Decorate Winter videos very, very soon, and I hope you guys stick around for those. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!